There we go. For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. We are staring down one of the cars, I guess you could say a car, death cart basically, from the new July car pack. We are going to be ripping this today. We're going to test its stock, and then we're going to probably tune it and see how we can get this thing to get sideways. Um, I know for a fact this thing is crazy, and we'll just get sideways just by a little uh, throttle blip. So we are here today. We got that Chevy motor in the front, and uh, looks like some K&W suspension. Not quite sure. So... We're going to get this thing sideways. We are running the full sequential mod, hydraulic handbrake, and NRG setup for today. So let's get right into it and uh, go uh, rip this thing in some free play. And then, uh, yeah, we're definitely not going in the rain. Uh, so trying to think. We are rocking the Stig racing suit because it did come in the car pack. So let us go to... Hmm. Prague has a, a decent amount of different variations, so we're going to send this thing at Prague. We're going to load up the track. Uh, i got to make sure we don't have any other drivers going in with us, because we don't want anybody else with us. We're just going to get this thing sideways stock, then we're going to tune it up, maybe uh, add some modifications to it. Probably not power, because this thing probably has plenty of power to weight ratio for sure. Frog full circuit. Let us make sure that there is nobody else in our session with us at all. And we're going to go race setup. Check it out. I don't think we need six laps, but we'll run three laps for right now. And uh, we're going to get this thing going. We're going to get the wheel cam turned on. And get everything all squared away with that. We're going to get our wheel on, so with our AM Studios quick releases while we load into the track. What am I doing? We're going into the race. There we go. I think I may have hit select random, uh, you know, perk cards, but we don't need those. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to be fun. And as I thought... It's just tail happy. Forgot to use clutch. Uh, I guess we're gonna send it. A little curve hop off the start, but oh boy. So one thing I'm noticing is the wheels do not turn much in the actual car, because that looked really weird. I mean, but that's kind of disappointing. I don't know why it's like that. But, oh, you do not want to give this thing full throttle or it instantly just wants to go around. And we're going to send it and then we're going to tune it. So, oh boy. Kind of saved that a little bit. Jeez, this thing is crazy. Tried left foot brake and make that work, but it didn't. Ooh. I do like this first person view though. Being able to see the engine, the first engine we've ever been able to see exposed and drive here on Forza 7. Cool, so we're gonna give it a shot here in first person. Might be a little bit easier in first person. I do like the gauge setup. We are at a full tank of gas, so that's good to know. A little clutch kick. There we go. Nope. I thought we were going to lose it. This car will bite you if you are not careful like that. 
and we'll just stay on the gas. There we go. But it is kind of annoying that the wheels aren't turning fully for me. It's kind of uh, a little upsetting, but yeah, all we gotta just clutch kick this in third, and it's already going. Look at that beautiful. Hey, look, my dipstick is up there. That's good to know. I don't know if having an exposed plastic dipstick is such a good idea, but oh my god! Yeah, I feel like this car definitely needs some uh, some tuning. We did get some damage, I believe I'm on sim, that's why. So we're gonna back out, give this thing a little tune here, and uh, see what we can do for upgrade shops. Yeah, I don't think I wanna upgrease this power anymore. Brakes, okay. Sway bars, okay. Do we have a race diff? No, we'll go with the race diff, that might help a little bit we're not going to do much to it because it doesn't really need much we can add a front lip and a tow hook though oh we can add some wheel arches uh, I do like the exposed wheels so we're gonna leave the exposed wheels on there for right now we are on racing clicks obviously leave the wants and hobbies on there all right so I guess we're just gonna go to this and see if we can't get a better grip level for this car I don't think we need to go that crazy in camber but give ourselves a little bit of tow a little more tow a lot of caster uh, we're gonna leave all of that that's why back is so much stiffer than the front We are going to soften this thing up. And then we are going to drop it. Apparently we can lower this thing more than it's already. Curious how that's gonna look. We leave down four, it's still leave braking. We are gonna switch the diff around though. Let's see if we can't get this thing better sideways here at Prague. Um that just just made it a lot lower so we're gonna go right back into it not do any other changes and uh, see how it does now it's so cool to see the exoskeleton of this car and the engine wish we could take the hoods off of other cars maybe in you know horizon 4 we'll be able to <laughs> and it just roasts them all the way through third gear all right, here we go. Try and send it now. It's a little bit better as I say that. Too much angle, but we were still able to save it. I think I did better in first person. We may be able to go back into first person on this car. That was just a clutch kick. All you gotta do is just do a little clutch pop. You don't really need any handbrake. There we go. Oh, we're gonna rewind that. Oh, I don't have rewinds on. I really should turn off damage because we just completely destroyed the car. Uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, remove mod, remove mod. There we go. Now we're good to go. Now we shouldn't have full sim damage on this car. Now we can rip it and have a little more fun with it. Let's see how this goes. This car is definitely a lot of fun. Definitely going to be curious to get some other people on here. Maybe do some... Uh, try and get some tandems with this car. You guys are rocking this. And you guys have a tune that's uh, pretty stable. Let me know down in the comment section down below. A good stable tune for it. There we go. Just gotta be gentle with it, apparently. Oh. As I thought I was gonna be slick and do that entire section, I kind of made a mistake. I keep forgetting to hit the clutch. I'm not on dirt or dirt four.
clutch pop in fourth. I thought it could get slick. I'm gonna try and do this again. Clutch kick it. There we go. Still roasting the tires. That's gonna be a really long e-brake grab. I thought I could get that. So this car is definitely very tail happy. We're gonna finish this lap off and then we're gonna probably switch to the first person and see if we can do a whole lap first person. All you need is a clutch. You don't really need an e-brake, but we're gonna rip the e-brake to this section. There we go. This car is a handful. But somewhat getting control of it now. This gotta be very easy on throttle. And uh, it won't come and bite you too bad. But if you are very aggressive on throttle, this car will definitely bite you. Ooh. So if you guys are rocking these cars from the July car pack, what is your favorite one of all of them? I will be doing more episodes on all the cars from the car pack. Would like to probably be doing a supercar drift build with that McLaren. That was not a 360 for style. It likes fourth gear, but with the exposed wheels, as soon as you touch anything, you're done. I don't even understand how how you would drive this in real life. Like, there's barely any power. Like, second gear, it just breaks instant traction. Would I like to try this in real life? Oh yeah, you better believe I would. I'd be super sketched out about it, but it definitely would. All right, so we're gonna switch it up into that first person view and uh, see how we do in this view. Go. I'm trying to stay on track and we did and I'm just still spinning tires. Oh clutch kick, there we go. So definitely looks like we're a lot better in first person than we are in third with this car there we go definitely a crazy fun car to drive oh my gosh I do love seeing that uh, Corvette motor just chilling there Downshift, there we go. Probably oh, didn't actually need to downshift there, but we're still good. Just the power on command that this thing has is insane. Whew. So if you guys want to see more builds on these July car pack cars, let me know down in the car comment section down below. If you are not a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button with bell notifications. If you want to be the first to see the episodes when they come out on the daily uploads, do appreciate it. We are creeping up in the 800s, trying to shoot for that 1,000 subscriber mark. So if you guys want to help me out and subscribe, I do appreciate it. If you guys like what you see, of course. Ooh. And as always, I do appreciate all the comments. I do try and respond to as many as I can. I should be running some open sessions on Forza Horizon 3, Forza 7, and maybe Dirt 4 or Dirt Rally and stuff like that here in the near future. So if you want to be part of that, stay tuned to Instagram as well as the YouTube channel. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. 
this car is something else. I think we're gonna try and send it one more time. I'm actually having a blast with this. In first person. There we, oh, as I say that, we snap back the wrong way. Try and hold on to it. We are just <laughs> roasting the tires. This car is ridiculous. So, until next time, guys. I uh, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna try and get this. Nope, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna end it there. So, Omnivore Rabbit, and I'm out.